So that's the block basically, that's the crankcase, but the uh, covers are still on uh, before we get to the actual block. So both the left and the right covers, alternator under here, clutch under here. So uh, let's start with this side, so that is the left side, uh, looking at the front. And these are 8mm bolts, we're going to take all of these off. Now, I've had this off before, so they are, oh, to be honest with you, all coppered on the way back, so nice and easy. I suppose I could spoil it when I'm finished and get a nice set of uh, stainless bolts for it, but let's see how we get on with it. You'll be able to see my uh, doohickey conversion at the end of it. So, missed that one. Okay, just just cut the wiring loom like that, and then pull the side of the pull the casing off, which was just gently. Bloody mag, huge maggot underneath. There we go. Okay, so let's get the uh, starter mechanism out. That should just pull off. Yeah, this one first. Note the uh, washer on the front. And the two, and that's just popped off of course. And the two needle, needle roller bearings that come off with it. Okay, so if we were to reassemble that, there's a it goes in order. There's a washer on the end, needle roller there. There's another needle roller there. That lot fits on there like that, gently into there, and that washer goes on the top there like that. And then there's a, uh, as you can see in the crank. That, that that one goes in there, and this one goes in there and just slides on. Okay, so let's take those out again. So two needle rollers, a washer. There's a washer on that. Let's hook that off. Getting oily now. Let me see that. Here we can. Come on. I don't know if these are different thicknesses, let's find out. No, they are the same, so it doesn't really matter what goes where. So, so that's one. Let's try the top one. I would imagine it's the same looking at it, and then the whole thing comes out. Again, there's washers at either end. Okay, washers at either end, just slots in there, okay, that's presumably a way of getting that apart, but I won't do that, doesn't need to come apart, oh I see it's bolted I think, I think that's fine, right, let's get the mag off, what you'll need, 19mm, impact wrench socket and one of them never leave home without it that's a 980 newton meters impact wrench and that is incredibly useful um, so let's just uh, haul this off it's also incredibly expensive easy as that this is all about getting the rotor and starter clutch off uh, once you've taken out the retaining bolt which we did earlier um, you now use this special tool um, I'll give you put up details of this later of where you get it I got it from the States actually um, and uh, again your trusty uh, DeWalt impact driver and you're turning that into the essentially into the crank which will then pull this off 
it's heavy so it'll come off with a bit of a bang it's um, what is it it's a 22 mil stick the 22 mil on there other way round we'll give you that let's try that there we go hands off Come off and come out. Eagle Manufacturing wrote a holder wrench. I can't quite remember. Um, I got it from the States. I can't quite remember how much it was. Um, I think it was about £30, but it is the only way you'll get that off. And we are now left with the starter clutch gear, and the washer behind the rotor, and this all important woodruff key. Do not, do not lose that. So that's the Woodruff key out. That's the washer. And just gently pull that off. It will just slide off dead easy. So that's the starter clutch gear. And that's off. There are two spacers behind the rotor. Can't quite see those, can we? We can quite see those, can we? As it's come off, it looks like it is chamfered side in. Okay. We're going to inspect the clutch for proper operation, the starter clutch for proper operation. So I've uh, reassembled it face downwards. Um, so this is, would be the bit into the engine and the stator would sit in the bottom part of this like that. So um, what we're going to do is uh, turn the gear counterclockwise and that moves perfectly well. The gear should turn freely and smoothly in that direction. Now we're going to try it the other way um, and it should not turn and it doesn't. Okay, it definitely doesn't turn the other way. So, in terms of operation, it's working properly. Now, the thing is, is it a smooth operation as it does that? And I have to say, I don't think it is. Um, which means, I think that one of the things we're going to have to do with this is replace the. Let's pull this off. Replace this bearing set in here. Um. I've not, it doesn't look scored, I have to say. Look like on here, looks like a run on here. Yeah. I would say, interestingly, looking at that, that is fairly well scored, actually. So I think possibly the bearings are okay, but maybe it's actually the uh, starter clutch ring that is. Uh, worn anyway we'll have a look at all of this when we come to reassembly but that's something i'm going to flag up so before we can take the inner casing off what we need to do is remove the primary chain spring tensioner um, which is this device and this is the doohickey Eagle Mike Doohickey conversion, which I fitted earlier this year. So let's just take that out. There we go. Look at that. What a mess. Oh, there we are. Remove that. That is horrible. Absolutely horrible. And that then just slides off what it should do. I've got to just take that off. There we go. There we go, and you can see all that move. So that's the Eagle Mike kit. Um, let's get that cleaned up. Okay, so we're now going to get the uh, inner alternator casing off. And that then separates it from the main casing and makes uh, we can then get all the bits in the middle here. And there's 10 bolts to undo. Again, M8. One internal one, don't forget that. Right, 
Right, so let's say it's the bottom. I mean, maybe different things, I'm not sure. Let's go around and That's a slightly shorter one. Loving that. Okay, so they're all the same length, that's great, apart from the one internal that's very slightly shorter. So if we give that a little bit of a... Let me get that off. I'd have to get all the bolts out, have I? Let's have a look. Yeah, very, very gently. There we go, yeah, that's... Uh, there we go. Right, just draw gently off here. Leave all that in there. It's worth noting that this casing has got two centering pins on it here and here. They go there and there. We're now looking at removing the cam chain. To do that, we need to get the cam chain guide out of the way and the primary chain guide out of the way. So let's do that. sound very healthy. So unhealthy in fact that it has completely sheared off. Drill that out. I'm gonna have to drill it out, I think, aren't I? That's a mess, goodness me, that is a mess. Oh dear, oh dear. So that's the cam chain off. 